Hi everyone! Welcome to Stacy's Art Studio and Garden's very first vlog of 2021. It's January. We made it to January 2021. Man, that was a rough year. <laughs> I know that so many people have really suffered through this year. Um, and it's been quite a challenge here. So I thought, what a great time right now to look back and look forward. Because I, as I wrote in my blog um, last month, it's not always a bad thing to look behind you. Just just look once in a while. And when you look behind you, you, you see how far you've come. You just can't get stuck looking backwards. Got to keep looking forwards. But once in a while, it's good to review where and how far we've come. And uh, I feel like this year was a big, huge, so many things got checked off the list year um, for Stacy's Art Studio and Gardens. <clears throat> and um, really, it started, you know, quite a few years ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> got some dust in my throat. I bet you were wondering what this is. This is a lovely amazing crystal piece that has done by a friend and an amazing artist and you can find her at painted peacock on etsy instagram facebook go check her stuff out she's amazing and then these i've already told you about these are from enchanted jewelry by vr they're just beautiful and it goes really well with this <clears throat> and i don't go out anymore so I'm going to wear it for you guys. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, I started this journey as Stacy's Art Studio a lot of years ago. And um, it went really well for a long time. It's still going well. But the last um, six, seven years, I had to take a step back from the business part of it. Because we had to focus more on the kiddos' health um, and then... Also, we were moving, you know, we, <clears throat> oh my goodness, how long ago has it been? I guess it's been the last nine years, to be honest. <clears throat> we, you know, moved into a camper for a year and a half, and that limited how I could run the business. And of course, I did not mind. My, my priority is my boy. And um, <clears throat> so... But it, it presented a lot of challenges for the business, for creativity, for keeping things painted. And uh, then we moved, you know, across the country back here to the Southwest. And uh, we had a few challenges in that process. And then we bought a home that we could divide up for the kiddo because of his health issues and restrictions and, and all of that. You know, that's a lot of work right there. Uh, and it presented a lot of challenges for the business side of things for Stacy's Art Studio. And that's when I changed it to Stacy's Art Studio and Gardens. And to be honest, I had always had this idea in my head for so many years of having a brick and mortar place, as they put it, that would be an art studio and gardens that people could come and and do art and, and wander the gardens and learn gardening techniques and uh, making your own lotions and ointments and oils and infused things that had been um, something I'd had in my head for many many years and uh, you know the last few years um, before I changed my name to Stacy's Art Studio and Gardens, it occurred to me that that's probably something that I cannot accomplish. And there is nothing wrong with saying this dream is not reachable because of the situation I live in. But there are other ways to attain that. And that's when I realized I can attain that through um, online internet this is what stacy's art studio and gardens is it may not be a physical place where people come but you come into my gardens into my studio when i visit with you i share um 
my projects and things that I do. And so that was a big accomplishment, really, of a dream. It just had to be changed slightly for what, you know, I needed it to do. And so I did that a few years ago. <clears throat> However, you know, running the, the art side of the business and doing all those kind of things, uh, again, was still a challenge. So I really didn't focus a lot of time on the business end. So really my goal was just to keep things going, just to keep things afloat, keep my paintings out there. And really, I have all of you guys to thank for that because every time I share a picture of something that I'm working on or painting or whatever, you give me such wonderful support and positive reinforcement. And I'm really grateful for that. And because of that, been able to keep things going. And this year, 2020, taught me even more about how to accomplish what my goals are. And it changed how we live. And in some ways it's been challenging, but in other ways it's been really good to see a new avenue on how to continue the business and make it, it grow better and do better and reach more people. And 2020 kind of forced me into that place uh, and at an interesting time because I feel like I had finished many of my big projects on the house and in the gardens and now I'm growing my herbs and making my oils and my balms and other things that I've always done but now I'm actually taking it from the ground from the earth to there's no middleman now so that's pretty cool and so it's leading up to my mini announcement I'm not going to tell you exactly because not everything's put together yet. I'm still waiting on some supplies that need to come in for what's going to be happening here at Stacy's Art Studio because I'm expanding. And I also have to say thank you to at New Mexico Drive because Hubby started that and we are out driving and it has just recharged my creative energy. And I'm so grateful for that. And for me, I need to be out in the earth, outside of the city to get that creativity. And it's been fantastic and it's helped um, open up ideas in my brain for some things. And then I also have um, other artists who have helped me think of a new way of getting things to you guys. So. It's going to, I'm going to have it all available, I hope, by the 15th of January. So stay tuned for many announcements and then the big one. I can give you some hints. I already gave you a little hint. So um, it's going to include art, of course. It's going to include access to some things that I make. Uh, from the garden, so that would be cool, and things from the desert that I find and make interesting stuff out of, I hope, I hope you'll find it interesting, and then I'm collaborating also with some really beautiful artisans who I really respect, and um, that's very exciting, so that's as much of that I'm going to tell you about. But the second thing I'm going to tell you about, which is very exciting, is right at that announcement time, there's also going to be a little mini series of giveaways. I haven't done a whole lot of giveaways in uh, the last few years because well, I've just been focused on so many other things. But now that I have my creative juices going and I have things organized so that I can focus more on um, these things. I'm happy that I'm going to get to do a couple of giveaways for you again. So that's about all that I'm going to tell you about that. You just have to stay tuned. But um, let me show you some of the things that I've finished this month. I've had a big month painting wise. One thing I can't show you yet and that's 
the piece, the winter piece that I'm calling Winter Dreams. It is finished. I mentioned that in my um, video on lanolin. Uh, but when I can, it is actually, I keep saying it has a ways to go, but it is so close to being dry. This one dried a little quicker than the other one that I was working on. And that one also has not got to its new owners either and uh, is really close to being dry. So once that's done, I will put up the finishing video on that one. So this is really great to have a few things done, but uh, let me grab these things here. Okay, so I've been working on these little mini pieces, which is also a little bit of a hint. So, isn't that the cutest little canvas size? Oh my goodness. It's just two inches by two inches. It's been little, it's been really fun. I, you know, I, I've been resistant to painting small paintings. I like doing great big ones, but there's a lot of fun in doing tiny little things. A little bit of a Southwest one that I don't usually do that kind of style, but it's fun to do. It just, it just came out the other day. And then this one is the one that we finished up on that uh, video series and it is now dry. So I will be putting it up for, for availability very soon. And then this one just finished and I don't even have a picture of it yet. Um, I'll have a picture up soon. <clears throat> And this one is in acrylic, and I, I'm trying to show it to you without too much glare. This one gave me lots of a hard time, but I'm now really quite in love with it. I've got some stuff kind of floating over this. And this is a piece that's reminding me of a place in um, that I, I've camped at that I really enjoy. It's called Lake Cochetee. And um, I tend to do that. I tend to paint a lot of things that when I'm done, I think, oh, yeah, I remember. I, I was over there somewhere, and that's what it kind of looked like. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of what I do. So there you go. That's the information for January so far. So just hang on. And uh, I can't wait to share with you what's about to happen. But hang in there. We've got some videos coming. I've got paintings coming. And then I've got the special thing coming. Thank you guys again for being here with me all this way. And I hope that you enjoy what's to come still. And of course, you know, as I've learned in my life, you can't really, you cannot worry about the next day because that steals the day that you have right now. But you also need to be flexible <laughs> for what may come your way. You have no idea. And that is what I've learned in my life. I have no idea. But I always try to look at everything that comes and knocks me down as a chance to stand back up again and fight some more and make something beautiful out of something that tried to keep me down. And I feel like that could be my life motto. <laughs> and, and I don't know how successful I am at that, but it is my goal that I try to do. And I hope that I share that with you guys.